Hi, this is Chef Mark Tafoya from Remarkable Palette Personal Chef Service in New York City. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple and decadent chocolate mousse using only two ingredients, chocolate and cream. Okay, so we're going to start with just chocolate. And so I've got uh, some just chocolate pieces in a mug here and I'm going to melt them in the microwave for just a bit. Okay, so you can see I've, uh, I've nuked my chocolate there for about a minute and it's kind of melty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a ganache. So I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of cream there. So you see, we're just gonna mix the cream and the chocolate together, marry them. That's called a ganache. We're lightening it up and we're gonna let it cool just a bit, but leave it soft when we fold it into the cream. So meanwhile, I have chilled the bowl of my stand mixer and I'm gonna put some heavy cream down into the bowl of that. I'm gonna reserve a little bit for later. And I'm gonna start that going and I'm basically just gonna whip it, okay? The bowl, the whisk, and the cream are cold, then it whips up really fast, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just add just a tiny bit of a vanilla extract here, just a little bit to give it some richness and flavor. Okay, so my cream is whipping, and in the meantime, I'm gonna make this a little more chocolatey. I'm gonna take a little bit of cocoa powder, and I'm just gonna gently tap the sides here. Let's hope I can do it without making a mess. I'm sifting this into, there we go. I'm sifting that in there, so I'm enriching it, making it a little more cocoa-ish. I'm gonna fold this in, just gently scrape down the sides, and get all that yummy cocoa powder in there. Knock it back down and now we're gonna mix it. And you want this to come to medium firm peaks. You don't wanna have it be stiff peaks. You don't wanna turn it into, you know, clotted cream or cheese or any of that. I'm gonna turn it off and then raise it up. You see it's got nice medium stiff peaks. It holds, but it's not too firm. All right, that's just how we want it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gently fold in the chocolate. Now you see I've got a little bit on my spatula. I can actually take a little bit. I can take this guy out here. Look, all this extra stuff here. <laughs> I can take it out and I can mix it in there. And then I'm going to put some of my chocolate in, not all of it, but some of it now. And I'm going to fold that in. Okay, so by folding, you want to fold underneath and around. You cut through the center, underneath and around. Okay, and you're just, you're kind of marrying the chocolate to the cream. You're not stirring it. Folding doesn't do that. Folding cuts through the middle and folds over the top. You're lightening the foam, essentially, the mousse that you've made. You're lightening it, but you're trying not to deflate it in any way. Now, this particular recipe is simply cream and uh, chocolate. I'm gonna add the rest of my chocolate. Just get that in there good. All right, and keep folding. All right, so I've mostly incorporated. It's okay if there's little bits of brown and little bits of white. It, it makes people realize you've made it yourself. So don't worry if it's not 100% incorporated, but that's it. And then we're going to plate this up. Okay, and I'm gonna serve it in this martini glass and just gently scoop it. And you wanna ever so gently press it down so that it completely fills the glass. So I'm just placing it in there ever so gently. And then when you get to this part, you kind of want to just turn it and smooth it out. And then we're going to garnish it in a minute. Okay, so I am going to put the remainder of this heavy cream, which again, I kept chilled in the mixer. And I'm going to whip it up. And this we're going to whip to soft peaks. So we're going to use it as a topping in the finished product. Okay, so my whipped cream is now at soft peaks. And now I'm gonna do something interesting. I've got a glass and I've got my piping bag sort of in it so we can get my whipped cream and I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it down in there. And that's gonna al allow me to pipe that in when it's time for service. All right, now watch, check this out. Lift that up, and voila. 
I've got a piping bag. Okay, now it's time for the garnish. So I've got some sweet uh, chocolate. I've actually put this in the freezer. And when I use a vegetable peeler here, what I what it ends up is, is nice little chocolate curls. This is a semi-sweet or sweet bar. And I got nice bits of chocolate curls. To garnish it, simply sprinkle some of the chocolate shavings over the top of the mousse, pipe out a little bit of the whipped cream in the center, and then top with some sliced strawberries. And voila, you've got a really simple two-ingredient chocolate mousse that's made even nicer with two more ingredients. Thanks for joining me.